Hi, Eric again here with MedEquipmentDirect.com and today I wanted to show you how to use your Everflow and your Everflow Q Home Oxygen Concentrator. I've received several questions on how to use it, uh, some of the items that go with it like the regular changing of your filters, how to use a humidifier bottle, even how to put on your tubing. So today I'd like to answer those questions uh, concerning how to use this. So first of all, you want to plug in your concentrator to a wall outlet, preferably with nothing else plugged into that outlet. So all by itself, then you'll turn it on. These lights will come on till it cycles through. Those lights then go off. This green light will stay on, telling you that it does have power and that it's running properly. And to set your leader flow, the leader flow is the amount of oxygen per minute that your physician has prescribed to you when he gave you a prescription for oxygen. And that's changed right here on this flow meter. It looks kind of like a thermometer. And then you just go up and down on the, on the knob here until it sets at the proper leader flow that you have. Uh, so that's how you turn it on. That's how you set your leader flow. When you turn it around, you'll see back here that you have this compartment and in that compartment is actually where your uh, filter is. So what you're going to want to do is turn it off. You'll open up the back compartment here and this is your actual filter and it pops out just as simple as that. So in order to change it out all you have to do is take your new filter that you'll have which we also sell on the website. You can buy as many of these as you think you need. We recommend that you change them at least once every six months. Uh, so once you take it right out of the package you'll put it right back on. You see this little uh, knob right here on the end of the filter. You'll see a hole right there. That knob goes right inside that hole and you pop it right in. Once it's popped in, you're going to want to put your, um, your cover right back on to your compartment. But while we have this open, you'll see back here is this uh, rubber hose. You want to take that rubber hose out because this is how you attach your humidifier bottle. Then you'll take your humidifier bottle out of the package. And then on the humidifier bottle, you'll see a maximum line and a minimum line. And that's usually posted on most of your humidifier bottles. You'll unscrew it. Take water. We, we recommend that you use distilled water uh, just for the simple fact that distilled water has no impurities in it whatsoever. So when the air runs through it, there's no little particles that will get into the hose causing it to clog up. So we recommend that you use purified or distilled water. Then you're just going to fill it up. I like to fill it up right in between the minimum and maximum lines. And then when you put back your, your lid back on, you want to make sure that it's on nice and straight. A lot of times you'll get an error message or an alarm will go off a lot of times on your concentrator if this is not sealed properly because a lot of air will leak out here causing backup to happen in here and it'll go off. So a lot of times you want to make sure that's on straight and that could solve a lot of your problems that you might be experiencing. So on your Everflow, you'll take this and this little Velcro area is exactly where you want to put your humidifier bottle. Strap it in tight with the Velcro. You'll take your rubber hose and that screws on at the top. Same thing, make sure that that's on evenly and straight. You're going to take the other end of the hose. It's going to plug in right here to the port where the oxygen comes out of the machine itself. Put it on nice and snug, then you turn it back on. And then once you see the water bubble, that signifies that you have a proper seal and that you're now going to have humidified oxygen. And the way it works is oxygen comes out of the port, comes right into the humidifier bottle, the air passes through the water, causing it to, the oxygen to be moist when it comes out of this port where you plug in your hose. So we'll plug in our hose. Here's our 25 foot tubing. Some of you might use 50 foot, it's, it doesn't matter. For this purpose, we're just going to use 25. Your 25 foot tube plugs in right here to this port on the humidifier bottle. You take your connector swivel. That goes right here at the very other end of your 25 or 50 foot tubing, just like so. 
Then you take your cannula or your nose piece. And that goes on the very other end of your swivel, which connects both of those together. And now you have humidified oxygen as it comes from your humidifier bottle. So I hope that answers some of your questions on how to troubleshoot some of the problems you might have with your Everflow and your Everflow Q. If you have any more questions, feel free to log onto our website, give us a call on the 800 number that's listed at the end of this video, and uh, you can log onto our website if you're interested in purchasing the Everflow or the Everflow Q. We do have it on there. Uh, if you were just interested in how to troubleshoot it, I hope that we answered those questions in this video. Thank you very much for tuning in.